you're always expanding on your own self. Right. You're never the same one moment after the next. The most exciting thing to me is when I do something or I come up with an idea that I haven't had before. And that's my fuel, that's my source of uh, um, inspiration. Because I never thought I was good enough, I, I would come up with things on my own and I'd say, well, that's interesting, that's fun. Mm. You know, I haven't heard that and I haven't, and then I'd challenge myself to reach different um, plateaus of um, technical proficiency. Right and then see where that can take me on, on an, a, a creative level and then rise, you know, so it's constantly this, kind, mm. and it's exciting. And uh, that's uh, how I developed my own style. It was like an accident, mm. you know? It was almost in a, it was a conscious kind of a turning away from the, the norm. Right. I should, when I say the norm, I mean, uh, genre specific type of playing which was which is beautiful i love it but i can't do it <laughs> i just didn't i never saw it it seemed like a waste of time mm -hmm. to try to play that sounds like something else that's already better than what i could ever do you that's know what i mean yeah, yeah so i just kind of yeah. organically started finding things that i liked uh, personally, and the the thing that made it work was I had no expectations. You know what I mean? I wouldn't come across something and say, okay, this is, uh, or I wouldn't sit down and say, okay, I need to write something that everybody will like. Right. I didn't think anybody would ever hear anything I did anyway. <laughs> it was my own little secret, which created an opening. Because if nobody's going to hear what you're doing, then you could just do whatever you want. Right. So I was really... Uh, excited whenever I would kind of come across something that sounded unique to me. And I, like I say, I had no expectations. So uh, this is sort of a challenge I give to people sometimes when I'm, you know, uh, giving a lecture or something. I say, go to write a song, but write a song as if no one's ever going to hear it. Mm. I mean, if I was to tell you that the next song you write, it's not going to get on the radio. Nobody's going to hear it. Nobody's going to buy it. Some people respond to that with, well, then why would I do it? And my answer is then you shouldn't because <laughs> you don't really want to, mm -hmm. you know. But some people see the opening in that. And what that opening is, it's the message that now you have no expectations. You could do whatever you want. You could be completely free of... What you're being free of is the fear of being criticized, right. the fear of failing. There's nothing, you've already, in, you know, you, you put it away. You've, you've already failed, so to speak, mm -hmm. at what the world, you know, worldly success with it. So it can create this opening of freedom, like real fearlessness, a fearlessness. Because fear is the thing that holds people back from their own unique potentiality. Mm. So... Um, and the, and the interesting thing is that piece of fearless, creative, enjoyable, enthusiastic, non-critical work that you then do is usually the thing you're going to be most successful at. Hmm. You're usually creating a, a, a style. Your, your real true self is flowing into it. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, then the appropriate audience will be responding to it. Do you know what I mean? As yeah. opposed to trying to second guess an audience, which is just stress. Right. And then you're competing with people who write music in a field that's very natural to them. Mm. So that's um, what I've become more aware of. So it, were those fears and anxieties ever a part of your, um, your development of your voice and your identity as a musician? On one level, yes. Because once I started to uh, tour, like when I started with Frank, or even when I'd have to play live, I enjoyed it, you know, but there was always this uh, nervousness. Mm. And what that nervousness is really that we feel in, is just our ego. It's fear. It's just, it boils down to fear of not being accepted. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so when you, uh, yeah, so when, when you start to recognize that for what it is, uh, then you can, then it, you can work on it. Mm -hmm. And that's really your true work. Mm. 
because you can't really be uniquely expressive if you're afraid. <laughs>